guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we're unboxing the iphone 12 128 gigabyte blue that i got on ebay now this is not my new phone i'm still going to be using the oneplus but basically if you didn't know i buy phones to fix and then resell them this is one that i got bidding and it's the newest iphone i've had so i figured i may as well make a video on it i have got an iphone 12 pro on the way as well which has also got nothing wrong with it so depending on how long this takes to sell um i'll make a review video on it as well like how it is in 2023 so i mean 2024 so let's get into it so they didn't actually say on the listing it was coming with the box so that is quite nice Does look in really good shape except for being through bashed on the front so it's not in really good shape let's open it so here's the phone now this is oh it comes with a brand new charger as well um so it's the blue version i've never actually seen one of these in person they look quite good probably needs a bit of a clean but basically yeah so it's got a big scratch here and then some scratches here where they had a wallet case rubbing against it. But most of that can probably be clean off. So let's get it on. Hopefully it has a charge in it. And it looks like it does. So we'll just have a little check. So we've got SIM card tool, we've got the book and we've got the Apple sticker. So yeah, all good there. So here we go, it's on. English. Kingdom. Set it up without another device. Set up for myself. We'll try Face ID. Get that going. So, see, I don't normally make videos on the phones that I unbox, but basically, the latest phone, the iPhone I've ever really owned, is an iPhone 11, which is what I'm recording on. So, you know, this is actually quite exciting to have, as I've never really used an iPhone 12. So, Face ID. So I have that 12 Pro coming soon, so depending on how long both of them take to sell, I might do like a comparison video on them. I won't transfer anything. So I've got my iPad up and nothing's come through. Sign me in. Agree. Whatever. So here we go, the iPhone is all on. Now I'm hoping I can do is clean off their marks. That's where they've had a flip case on it and the cards have rubbed against it. So, hoping if we get some isopropyl alcohol on there, we can just sort of like scrub them off of it. It needs a nice clean anyway to get some good photos of it. Obviously, because it's got that big scratch on there, I will sell it at a discounted price compared to the other iPhone 12s. Still there. 
Uh, so they're still there, no matter how many times I clean it. So obviously I'd sell it at a discounted price, but I got a good enough deal on it that that discounted price should still make me a profit. So we'll get it up. And we will have a look at the battery health. 85, pretty good. Check all the cameras. So one times works. 0 0.5 works. That camera works. And it's imported some of my photos, but not all of them. <laughs> For whatever reason. I suppose whatever the last synced over is I use an iPhone to take all my photos for my phone thing, so yeah. Last thing we'll do is check that it's unlocked and check that the microphone and the earpiece speaker works. And this is a test I do, so basically I put in an Asda mobile SIM card, which is Vodafone basically, and see if that works. Then I put in an EE SIM card, and obviously if it works on both of these networks, then it's unlocked. Then I ring the EE SIM card from my actual phone and just sort of put both the phones to my ears and say hello, and obviously if both of them come back with hello, then it means both the ear speaker and the microphone works. Oh, it's got a SIM card in it still, and it's an EE SIM card, so it should definitely work on EE. <laughs> so, yep, it seems to work perfectly fine on Asda Mobile, so... It's weird, SIM card slots on this side, on the 12s. I'm used to them being on that side, so this is the newest iPhone I've ever owned, and I'm only going to own it for a brief amount of time until it sells but obviously ideally i'd like to get it sell sold quite quickly but obviously if i don't then i can make some more youtube videos on it um like about it so to check the e sim works obviously i expect it to because an e sim card came out of it and yep it does and also while that goes we'll yeah Hello. And yep, that worked. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys come back for the next one, which will hopefully be like a review on this, like how it performs in 2024. And maybe I'll do it against an iPhone 11. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. <laughs>